my name is Eileen Ryan. I'm an executive recruiter and job search strategist of Pounding Pavement 101. I am here today with Colin. We are talking about job scams and to protect you out there. This one actually came in as an offer. So I want Colin to tell his story and walk you through it so this way you guys can protect yourselves so this way you don't fall for any job scams. Colin, thank you so much for doing this. I greatly appreciate it, as do all the viewers, I'm sure. Yeah, that, no problem. Thanks for uh, having me on. Uh, I'm really excited to tell this story and, and get people you know, aware of these situations. Um, it kind of started... I received an email from a company and it looked pretty legit. Um, it was for a role that I was looking for, a front end software developer. So I was excited about the work. Uh, um, and so I replied saying that I was interested and they sent me another email. I think it was the next day uh, asking me to fill out a form with some, some interview questions that you might be asked during an interview for one of these positions. You know, it was, it was technical questions. And it also had some of the role defined on that, that document. So I read through the role. I, I thought I liked it. Um, I answered all the questions to the best of my ability and sent it back to them. And the very next day they said, congratulations, you know, you have the job. And they were asking for, for some very basic information um, uh, in, in that email. I think it was name, uh, email address, um, physical address and phone number, which was very confusing to me and us because they should already have that from my resume. And so I and responded- they weren't asking, one second, they weren't asking for a social security number. They were asking for your name, first name, last name, phone number, and just your email address. But they emailed this to you. So why would they be asking you for that information? Exactly. So that's what kind of made me a little confused about this. I said, maybe it's not a scam because they're not asking for incriminating information, but this is extremely confusing because I haven't had contact with the company. You know, I haven't spoken to anyone. I haven't proven myself to anyone and they haven't proven themselves to me. You know, uh, as Eileen was talking about earlier, an interview goes both ways. So I don't know anything about this company. They don't know anything about me. Um, and so, you know, they emailed me this final email with the actual offer letter on it with all these instructions on, on stuff like equipment that they were going to send me and things. Oh, so, you didn't tell me about this one. Okay. Slow this one down. Oh, this is a okay. good one. Okay. <laughs> so they were making you a job offer. They've mm -hmm. never spoken with you. Mm -hmm. So, and obviously they don't have your actual resume because they're asking for your name, number, email address, uh, but they have the email address because they emailed you. You know, that's how they had contact with you. You've right. never spoken with them. And an interview is a two-way street. They're interviewing you, but you're interviewing them to see mm -hmm. if you want to work with them. Okay. You have yeah. skill sets. You have a master's in computer science. You have something to offer to the company. And they haven't even spoken to you. So now they send an offer letter, which was like this. Okay. And you're excited that you got a job off or a job offer. I got an email saying, okay, Eileen, something's wrong here, but I got a job offer. And it was, it was an okay offer. It wasn't even for a lot of money because I want you to earn more because I know how valuable you are in the marketplace. And I'm going to teach you how to do that. But now they were going to buy you equipment. Mm -hmm. Or were they going to send you equipment? Yes. Yeah, so in the offer letter email that I actually have pulled up here, um, it says the following equipment will be delivered to you to set up your home office and the check to make the purchase of equipment will be made available to you prior to purchase and delivery. Boom. That's and then it. I have a list of the things. We did another job scam video that someone was going to send a check. And right before this video, mm -hmm. Colin, I was telling you that we protected I know specifically of a woman that we protected. And we also know someone told her story that she did get scammed by this, that they send the check, you deposit the check to pay for the equipment, and then they had access to your bank account. Mm -hmm. This is that scam. Oh, wow. You didn't tell me that. Oh, see, look, I'm <laughs> surprised by it also. So guys, I'm hearing it the first time also. So yeah, th this is a scam. And actually, you never had contact with the company. And one of the things I asked you earlier is, why don't we call the company? 
because sometimes the scammers will say that they're representing a reputable company, that you know the company. And then I've had people call the company and say, yeah, we don't know anything about this job offer. We don't know anything about you being contacted. But here it is. Yeah, this is that scam that they were going to send you a check, you deposit it, and then they have access. So what are you going to do about this now? Yep. So we're just going to ignore it now. We're Look, we can play on. with them and we can, we can continue, but hey, maybe take the check and let let them send you the check. Open a brand new, well, get, in order to open a bank account, you need the social security number. So you know what? We don't want to go anywhere that, that near that because I want to protect you. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Colin, thank you so much for telling your story to protect other job seekers because I don't want that to happen to anyone. And I know you're going to find a super fabulous job. Yep, I'm very excited to keep pounding pavement. <laughs> Fantastic. My name is Eileen Ryan. I'm an executive recruiter and job search strategist with Pounding Pavement 101. For more alerts, uh, when I post job scam videos, please subscribe to the channel and good luck in your job search.